Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install Black Ops 7 game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app, click on your profile icon and then go to support option. Click on gaming services repair tool. Click on start repairing. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. The repair will take some time. And once the repair is complete, you can close this and then try to install the game again. Now you can even run gaming services repair tool from the website. So you can go to Microsoft website, Xbox support gaming services repair tool for PC. Go to the official Microsoft website. And on this screen, you will see downloadable version. Click on downloadable version over here. Scroll down, click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This will again take some time. And once you see completed successfully, now try to install the game once again and then check. Still not working. Log out and log in with same account on Xbox app and store. So go to Microsoft Store. At the top right, you will see your profile icon. Click on it. Click on sign up and then click on sign in. Select the right account which has the game or which has the game pass and then enter your pin or password over here. Once logged in, go to Xbox app, click on your profile icon, click on sign out, and then click on sign in. And you have to select the same account which you've selected in Microsoft Store. Make sure that the account which you select has the game or the Game Pass subscription. And you have to use the same account on Store and Xbox app, and then try to install the game. Still not working, make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. At the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it off. Also set time automatically. If this is off, turn it off. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you receive any error in red color, click on sync now multiple times. Once the sync is done, go back to time and language. Go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. And then you can try to reopen Xbox app or store and then try to reinstall the game once again. Next step is to, uh, if you're trying to install the game on Xbox app, you can go to store and you can use the store. So you can go to downloads, bottom left, click on downloads over here. And over here, uh, if you see the game in downloads, you can try to install the game from download option. Now, if you see the game on, you can even go to library. If you find the game in the library, try to install the game from Microsoft Store library and then you can check. In my case, it's in download. So try to install it from here. Now, if you're trying to install the game from store and you're facing the problem, in that case, you can use Xbox app to install the game. Now, the next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this command. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color. So if you see uh, errors like this in red color, just ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is done, once this is complete. You will see everything red. Now you can close this and then you can open Xbox app or Microsoft Store and then try to install the game. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache folder. Now for this, you can open File Explorer. Go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Now open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, Select Show. Put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder. Open the Local folder. Open the Packages folder. Scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store. So here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder. Here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. And once it is deleted, now you can relaunch Xbox app or store and then try to install the game. Next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box. And then click on WS reset run command over here. This will reopen Microsoft Store and then you can try to install the game. Next step is to repair or reset Xbox app or store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box 
make a right click on xbox app and then click on app settings and on this screen scroll down and then first of all click on terminate and then click on repair and once the repair is done now you can open xbox app and then check if that does not work click on reset reset and then once the reset is complete you can open xbox app once again and then you can check now you can check still not working do the same thing with uh, store so type in store in windows set box make a right click on microsoft store then go to app settings and then scroll down click on terminate first and then click on repair and once the repair is done you can check if that does not work you can even perform reset so click on reset reset and once the reset is done you can open microsoft store and then you can check now still not working uh, the next step is to update store now to update store uh, you can go to microsoft store and then make sure that you're logged in log in with the right account which has the game or game pass and you're logging with same account on store with same account in xbox app and then at the bottom left here you can see download option you can click on download and then click on check for update and then click on update all and once everything is updated now you can check next step is to install xbox identity provider for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website click on download over here and then click on open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button or maybe get option or maybe update option so you can do so in my case it is already installed still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services now for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now paste the command over here this will uninstall gaming services from your computer once done just ignore this error if you are receiving any kind of error just ignore it in my case it is already unins uninstalled then to install gaming services you can copy the second command this command is provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key and then it will open microsoft store click on install option click on yes to allow and let the download complete make sure gaming services is installed 100 percent once it is installed now you have to relaunch xbox app or microsoft store and then you can check still not working the next step is to start all these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services find ip helper in the list make a double click double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services at the bottom you will see xbox services make a double click on each xbox services one by one set the startup type to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok Again, set this to automatic. Apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Automatic. Apply. Start. And then click on OK. Apply. And then start. Click on OK. Now find Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set this to automatic. Apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click. Click on start if highlighted or click on restart. Again, make a right click on gaming services. Click on start if highlighted or click on restart. now once this is done now you can try to install the game once again and then check still not working the next step is to update windows now this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or upgrade and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet 
cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab scroll down make sure use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1.3 all four are checked and then hit apply apply is important and then click on ok and then you can restart xbox apple store and then try to install the game try installing the game to c drive or d uh, or different drive so for this you can go to xbox app just ignore this error and then you can click on the profile icon over here and then go to settings go to install option and over here uh, you can uh, you will see that right let me relaunch xbox app settings install options and over here if the game is installing to c drive and you are facing the problem you can select different drive and then try to install the game to different drive if it is already installing to different drive you can try c drive select c drive over here and then try to install the game and then check still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app in store so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall uninstall once the uninstall is done you can go to microsoft store in the search box you can type in xbox app and then try to install xbox app okay let me close microsoft store and then relaunch store and if you see the install button hit, hit install if you are if you have if you face trouble installing xbox app from the from the store in that case you can go to xbox website microsoft website and go to the official website and then click on download the app and then you can run this exe file click on i accept over here and then install and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you can open xbox app and then check still not working you can uninstall and reinstall microsoft store so copy the first command type in powers type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store from your computer it will be gone store will be gone and once done now copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description paste it in the powershell window make sure that you open powershell as an administrator only click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will reinstall microsoft store on your computer and you should be able to open store and then you can check still not working the last step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool now for this you can open this link the link is provided in the video description scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file you will see the screen click on accept over here by default windows 11 will be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save and let the download complete this process will take some time and once done click on finish option and then let it close automatically do not close this manually once you click on finish it will take few seconds to close and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next click on accept over here and then here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can open xbox app or microsoft store and then try to install the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully from xbox app or microsoft store on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel